Doing it live. We'll do it live. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Blake Jamison here. We're here like we are every night. See a lot of friendly faces. What's up, guys? Jason, Matthew, Grant, Eric, Donna, Moose, Noel, Adam. Sorry. Oh, no worries. Yeah, it's kind of fickle. Yeah, a fickle. What's up, guys? Hey, Jason. Yeah, we're going to have a blast tonight. So we're still, uh, we're kind of setting up, getting the uh, overhead camera so you guys can see. I actually have finished almost the entire Hank Aaron black layer, which I did the white layer the other night. So I actually need it to plug it into my computer. Oh, um, and let's see, where are those? Where are you um, in my desk drawer in HQ2, I believe it is. It might, it might be in HQ3. The thing that makes this be able to go into that hole. Makes, you know what I mean? I think so. It's a little white, little dongle looking thing. Yeah, I got you. Cool. What's up, guys? We're just uh, waiting on uh, some hardware. So I had a great day today with Peter Stuyvesant Little League. And they gave me this shirt, which I absolutely love. It's also like a like dry fit, kind of, which is awesome. Had a great time painting with kids. Uh, what's up, Brian Gonzalez in the chats. Uh, thank you so much for setting all that up. That was, that was a blast today. It's also crazy, like being out in the sun for hours. And it's just exhausting working with 40 kids. Um, I took like a three hour nap this afternoon, which I needed, <laughs> which is great. Oh man, uh, that will work. Thank Sweet. you, sir. You are welcome. Okay, so bam, bam. OBS. It's so weird that it doesn't show up on my computer sometimes. What did we do last night to make it work? There we go. Try the other one? No, no, there we go. Now it's working. Oh, okay, great. I think. So it's waiting for connection. Well, you know what? Maybe I have to go like this. Uh, turn this on. Uh, let's see, let's get rid of this. Sorry guys, just a second. Get rid of that, plus uh, iOS camera here. here. There we okay. go. Okay. okay. All right. So put this up here. Again. Can I zoom, I wonder? No. Okay, sorry, there we go. <laughs> uh, as you guys know, that happens uh, every single time I add a second video source. I always end up with uh, two audios as well. Let's see here, let me make this a little bit bigger. Try and get a little zoom here. There we go. Mm. All right, so as you can see, here. Uh, I'm almost done cutting the black layer of Hank Aaron. Also had a really, I think, a great idea today. Um, so this picture of Hank Aaron is when he hit his 714th uh, home run, which tied Babe Ruth's all-time home run record. So what I did today is I went on eBay and I bought a lot of 10 newspapers from 1974 with different like front pages that say, you know, he ties the record. 
some of the some of the newspapers have this exact photo on the cover of it, which is cool. So I'm going to, I ordered all those today from eBay. Those are gonna take uh, you know, a few days to arrive. So today I'm going to finish cutting this black, which I'm very close. I'm just down to like the helmet and top of his face. Then I'm gonna put over that mesh, you know, that we do. Um, and then I'm gonna paint it on this piece of cardboard. Uh, very big piece of cardboard. This did a, I had a test print on the back of this of uh, Felix the cat as a doctor. Oh, <laughs> yes, yeah, it's it a fun one. But I have this stencil, I can make this on something else. So I'm gonna do it on here, and then kind of like what I do with my Topps Project 2020 cards, I actually paint those portraits. Uh, I did one each row in cardboard, but I do them usually on poster board, and then I cut them out, and then I put them on top of the background with a adhesive. So I'm gonna do something similar. Now I do have to get in contact with Luke. This is a commission for Luke who I met through blowout forums like the first week of the project. Gotta just make sure that he's okay with me doing the collage for the background. I think it's gonna be awesome and I think he's gonna go for it. Um, but anyway, so tonight we're gonna finish cutting this. We're gonna do a test, uh, you, well, we could call it a test print or we could, it might be the actual one that ends up being on the, on the final piece depending on how it turns out. So it should be a fun time. So, I go, I think if I go like this, okay, yeah, I think that's good. I'm cutting right here, <laughs> there we go. All right, Matt, if you want to yell out any questions that you hear or see. Yeah. Um. Oh, also, so these hats, uh, I talked about, what was it on last night's stream? So. We're gonna end up probably using a different manufacturer, but I am happy with these um, these snapbacks. We're probably gonna do fitted caps at some point in the future. But for now, uh, I mentioned last night that there was a little bit of a supply chain issue where it was taking a long time to ship, which is why I wasn't actually promoting these hats very much. You had to like go to my old, old website and then search for hat to find it. The production is now fixed. A hat that was ordered two days ago shipped out today. So that is great. So if you click the link below in this video, you can get one of these hats. Uh, so far, there's a few colors up there. We haven't put them all up. We will add the rest of the color options. Um, anyways, so if you guys want a hat, they're linked down below this video. Uh, let's see here, I want a chair. saw Matthew Burke ask if uh, Matt, if you saw Glaber got hit, I showed him that. So uh, hopefully he's okay. Does not look like that would feel good. I played goalie in lacrosse and uh, getting hit in the elbow hurts. And a lacrosse ball is hard, but it's also rubber. I, the baseball is harder than a lacrosse ball. So that's gotta hurt a lot. Questions. Blake is uh, just finishing up cutting the stencil. This is such a strange shot. I'm like right over your shoulder. <laughs> uh, yeah, Blake's just finishing up cutting the stencil, as you can obviously see. Um, so yeah, if you have anyone has any questions, um, you know, type them. Type them. What type away? And I'll uh, I'll read them out loud. And um, yeah, I hope Glaber's okay. I did see that he got hit today, as we just talked about. Um, as Blake showed me, um, so I saw I did I did see Matthew Burke say that apparently he's going to be okay. So that's let's, great. Uh, let's hope. Fingers crossed. That's awesome. Um, oh, question from Boomer. Okay. Um, can you ask Blake if he's done a self-portrait of him playing the cross? I have not done a self-portrait playing lacrosse. I have done a few self-portraits, and I was actually just recently saying I would like to do another one soon. I kind of wish that I did one every single year. I think in the five years I've been painting, I've done three self-portraits. Two of them were in the same year. So yeah, I'm due for one, for sure. I can also kind of put this down a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Good question, Boomer. Question from Moose Null, uh, are you going to Vegas? 
Uh, TBD still. Yeah. Yeah. We're uh, we're still exploring it. Question from Rick Jenton. Okay. Uh, what's the best way to get card art? I'd love to get a couple Maguire cards or any Nats players. Happy to send cards in. How does it work? So we are very soon launching cardart.com. Tony and I, and there will be options to send in your own cards. There will also be uh, releases probably every week where a new batch of cards come out, and we're definitely going to have some Maguires coming out there. So uh, I would say that is probably going to be live in, I hope, a week. Might be as long as two weeks, but it's been a long time in the making, and we are working on that. We're also going to make a Discord group for card art trades, card art trading post, which was, I believe that was an idea of someone on the stream last night, right? Yes, that was. Brilliant idea. Fantastic idea. Yeah. So that'll be fun. So if you do have card art that's not the player you want, you can uh, put it up there and potentially trade card art with someone else that uh, has the one that you want. All right, I've got a question for everybody. Okay. Okay. So... I'm just gonna this is a question. poke the head in here above okay. your shoulder. Great. Um, really taking advantage of the full, full camera here. Okay. Um, which young baseball player are you most excited for to see this season? So it could be someone who's already made his debut. You know, it could be like a Bo Bichette or a Glaber. You know, a young player thinking like 25 or younger. I like that. I, 25 or younger. Um, so I mean, Acuna, Soto, it could be, you know, like a player who's just making his debut right this year, Brady Singer, Mike, you know, Gators, um, Robert, um, Robert, Dalton Varsho, if you're a D-backs fan, um, you know, maybe someone who hasn't debuted yet, Wander Franco, Gavin Lux, uh, this year, I mean, he's obviously made his league debut last year, um, trying to think of what other, top, Mackenzie Gore, uh, so what player, Joe Adele, if you're an Angels fan. Uh, so what young player are you excited to see? Because maybe that'll be a, a card art card that you're sure. interested in someday? I don't know. I'm just curious to see who you're excited about, who you want to see. Jack Flaherty, Shane Bieber, um, you know, whomever. So write in the comments, and uh, I'll talk to you in a minute. Sounds great. What's that? Uh, Adam Peters, I love it. Adam Peters said Dominguez and Volpe. I I wish we'd get a chance to see them this year. Uh, just no minor league baseball, so we won't. Also, shout out to are more uh, people going to get called up though because COVID? Yes, players will get called up. So teams have I think a player pool of sixty players they can potentially call up from the alternate training site. Mm -hmm. Alternate training site. Uh, wow, stencil looks great. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, are you, uh, are you ready? Are you ready? Yep. Nice. Um, so yeah, they get called up from the alternate training site, which is really weird. Um, so Dominguez and Volpe, yeah, I mean they're super young; they won't be up this year. But I mean, it would be super awesome to see them play some minor league ball. But we will not see that until you know, we see, like, either the fall league, if there is an Arizona fall league, or twenty twenty one. So like, in basketball, people can go straight from high school. Yeah, to the league. Yes. Can that not? Ha is that not allowed to happen? It's yeah. allowed to happen. It just doesn't really happen Got in it. baseball. Got uh, it. I mean, and is I it that like, like playing, you know, yeah. whatever, two three years in the minors like yeah. really gives them that experience and like confidence and yeah time you yeah. know yeah and also just, I mean they need just physically to get stronger too if they're you know seventeen eighteen right um, you know football that's that's why you can't go from high school straight to the NFL. Because you get hurt. Yeah, I mean, just eighteen-year-old guys would get their asses kicked by you know grown men. I mean, I you know I feel like that two three years makes a huge difference. Right. There are like some exceptional players like you know Griffey and A Rod who Juan Soto who debut at like nineteen twenty. Right. Um, so how old is uh, Dominguez? 
I think Dominguez is 17 right now. Wow. So he's really a teenager. That's crazy. For two more years. It's pretty yeah. awesome that he's uh, 17 and he's got his own baseball cards. Yeah. Yeah. And they're it's expensive. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. So I saw a lot of Fernando Tatis Jr. That's a great answer. Dylan Carlson, absolutely. Um, Keston Hiera, I forgot to mention him. He's a stud already. Um, yeah, there's a lot of really talented young players in baseball. I just hope that uh, we get minor league ball back next year because that will really be a, a huge blow if, if there's no minor league baseball next year. So when Mike Trout was in the minors, yeah. was it clear that he was going to be a super stud? Um, I don't think it was clear that he was going to be a, a super duper stud. Got yeah. So we do, need the super duper we do need to add the duper in there. Um, I think it was clear that he was going to be a stud, like a, an all-star. Right. But I don't think it was clear that he was going to be one of the greatest players, potentially, in baseball history. Um, I think a lot of that had to do with the fact that he played high school ball in New Jersey. And there's a kind of a bias against high school players in the Northeast um, because they don't play year-round. Uh, unlike you know, kids in Florida and Texas and California. Got it. Um, so that that, 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 that hurt. Like that a, definitely, that's like a weather thing. Yes, that's a weather thing. So that definitely hurt his draft stock, um, and that's why he, I think he went twenty fifth. I was about to ask what. what I think what? he went twenty fifth overall. Got it. Eric, did did Trout go twenty fifth, or am I am I making that up? It would have been cool if he went twenty seventh. Yeah, it would have been cool. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think he definitely would have been a top five, top ten pick if he was. You know, playing high school ball in Texas, and that and in your draft stock, where you get picked, definitely has a huge impact on where you're ranked by, like Baseball America and MLB Pipeline um, and other publications as well. So if he had been a top five pick, he might have been like a top five prospect, but instead he was probably like a top hundred prospect okay. initially, and then he, his stock obviously went up. So and then he got the bag. Yeah. Um, yeah. So awesome. that's the deal with Trout. Good to know. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go check the comments, and uh, I'll be right back. All right. I saw today that uh, some people started getting shipping notifications for their trout, or more people. I think some people had already gotten that, but I having not gotten my shipping notification, but I also ordered a lot of them, so I understand if Tops is... And it's okay. I'd rather them ship to customers first, I guess, even though... I have auto customers I gotta get my cards to, so. Anyways, that's good news. So they actually can't go straight from the NBA to high school, uh, to high NBA school from anymore. To the NBA anymore. Yeah, they but they used the they used to be able they to. Used, yes. So obviously, like Kevin Garnett, LeBron, LeBron, Amari yeah. Stoudemire. Uh, so do they have to play college, or could they no, play like they don't amateur? Have, they can play in the G League. Like, they can okay. play in Australia, like uh, not Lonzo Ball. Lamelo plays. Plays. You know, is going to play in Australia, and he'll be the okay. top three pick in the twenty twenty draft when that happens. Are they, oh yeah, I guess it is. So they haven't had the draft yet. That obviously got pushed back because of COVID. Um, Who has the first pick, or have they done the lottery thing yet? Oh, I think they did do the lottery thing. I honestly can't remember. That lottery thing is so weird. Did they me. do the lottery yet? No, it's, I don't think they it's did. It's so do weird. It. How so? Well, it's like depending on your record, you get X amount of like you get X percent amount. chance to Correct. get to get the first pick. Yes. So like in theory, like the best team could get the first pick. No, so it's only among the the play the teams that did not make the playoffs Got it. that have a chance Got of getting it. first. Okay, pick. that makes a little more. You sense. make the playoffs, you can't get the first pick. Got it. Yeah. So I think it's only thirteen teams. Interesting. Maybe four. Maybe fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah. Fourteen and sixteen. I think it's fourteen teams. Yeah. Yeah. Math. Math. Math is good. Sorry, I was a, I was a journalism major. My math skills are subpar. Um, All right, so here we go, guys. There's the uh, the Hank Aaron black layer. 
We're going to pair that with the white layer that we painted or that we cut the other night. Ooh, uh, so, let's. Oh, go ahead. Oh, uh, no, I'm just kind of talking to myself. Oh, okay. Question from Rick Can't wait for my next auto. Any idea when the maze auto sale will be happening? That's a great question. Um, I agree. It is a great question. I don't know. I mean, I kind of put autos on pause for a few reasons. Number one, like, I want to give tops, pe tops time to catch up. You know, we don't even have the trout in hand. We've already pre-sold the trout autos and the Mariano autos, and both of those still have a few of them left on the website. So, um, I don't know. Maybe when the trout is in hand, I'd be open to doing the willy. I would love to just get on a schedule where I start releasing the autos when I have them in hand. That's just going to take a really long time to get the willy mace. Probably like middle or end of August. Probably near the end of August. So, I don't know. Not sure. Okay, I'll put these away. Actually, have a fan here. Oh, that makes such a big difference. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where do I want to paint? I guess I'll paint right here, so I don't have to move everything. We're going to do on this. Question from Krista. Okay. How much did you drop for that 1977 clock? I'm not sure if that. I don't know what that is. I'm, I'm, I'm confused. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Never mind. Someone screaming is 1977 clock. I thought that was an item or something. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Got I it. Got it. Scroll up. Okay. Um. So the person who actually bought. Your Hank Aaron is on the screen this tonight. Sweet. What's yeah. up, Luke? Yeah, so that's pretty awesome. You just gave a shout out to Tess. Did, uh, okay, great. Then I assume he talked to Tess about uh, using the 1974 newspapers in the background. I just bought 10 of them on eBay. And uh, so I'm going to get them soon. So I'm just going to do the portrait part of it tonight. And then I thought, I thought it'd be really cool to put... Uh, that kind of all in the background, but I will leave it up to you. I'm happy to paint also. Um, let's see if twist that a little. All right, where's my microphone? mask on I'm just gonna I'm gonna hold this up I just want to do the reference layer but I don't want to get spray paint on my computer because it's pretty new yeah let's avoid that
So now, so we have the reference layer here. Let me see if I can. Man, it's so hard, it's so backwards to try and show you guys, but trust me, it looks cool. <laughs> so I'm gonna go get the acrylic paint and start uh, painting this bad boy in. I also gotta pull up the photograph. Uh, let's see here, downloads. Okay, cool. Now I have that. All right. Getting set up. Uh, I can close this tab. All right, I'm gonna go get the uh, the acrylics. Take this off for now. What's up, everybody? I'm just tweeting out a little image of Blake Payton. Sorry, I know live tweeting is not particularly exciting. Okay, tweet sent. My iPhone is do now does this really weird thing where it doesn't allow me to connect to Wi-Fi. So I think I need a new iPhone. Oh well, what's up everybody? How's everyone's Thursday going? Hopefully well. Of course, Stan, enjoy those. The black cases are awesome. What's up, Frank? Handed out a bunch of your books today to the kids at Peterson Stuyvesant Little League, and uh, they were super excited. So, Frank, thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Got some great photos for you. You are extremely generous. Really appreciate it. And again, thank you to Brian Gonzalez. I know Blake already thanked him. Um, just super generous. OMG car pulls. Definitely follow him on YouTube. Um, he does breaks on Thursday nights. He's, he's on vacation right now, so no break tonight. Uh, he might have a pre-recorded video next week or he might be off. I'm not 100% positive. I think when we talked about it today, he said he would do a pre-recorded video next week. But he'll definitely be back live in a couple weeks. So check out OMG Card Pulls. And if you're not already subscribed to those back pages, I, I don't know what you're doing. Definitely subscribe to those back pages. Eric is awesome. He's super knowledgeable. He's speaking at the Hobby Palooza tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern. And I believe you can check that out online. Eric, would you mind throwing a link in for the Hobby Palooza? That'd be dope. That'd be awesome. You're awesome. All right, back Stay to Blake. Awesome. <laughs> Not yet, Blake. Not yet. I mean, yes, always fail. But you know what I'm saying. Kind of. We need to put on the list black paint. Will you do that for me, Matt? Yes, black paint. List of things to buy, black paint. Right at the top. I got you. Do you need any other colors or just black? Uh, we actually could use more white, too. Like paint or spray paint? Uh, actual acrylic paint. Acrylic paint, yeah. Any other colors besides black and white? Uh, those are the two main ones. Do you need more orange spray paint? I already got that. You already got that. Wow. Got it at Blick the other day. See, yeah, this is like, this is the exciting stuff Blake and I sometimes talk about. Like, oh, what do we need to buy? More spray paint. So That's right. That's the life. All right, let's see. I got to pull up my reference image. Whoa. That was an accident. What happened there? 
Oh, I pulled it way over there. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's put this over here. Sorry, guys. There we go. Okay, here we go. There's the picture of Hank. Bam, bam. All right, ready to rock. Let's do blue. Your screen just went black. I know. Oh, okay. Oh, and now you're back. Yeah. Great. I like accidentally pulled the window. Gotcha, gotcha. Does blue like that use the tumbles to make for new bags? The what? The tumbles? I, I think tumblers. The tumblers. We do use the tumblers. Yeah, we do use them. Yeah. I let people use everything. Yeah. <laughs> Super generous. <laughs> Has Luke commented about the newspaper idea and if he's down? Yes, he likes it. Okay, great. Yes. Good. I'm glad all the, I mean, uh, wouldn't have mattered either way, but I thought it was a dope idea, so I went ahead and ordered the newspapers. Uh, let's see uh, here. Mike asked, if you mix all colors together, can you get black or just crappy browns? Uh, pretty much crappy brown. Okay, there. Hey Donna, just it's the ball that Blake may have painted on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Question from Mike. Okay. Um, I should, but I don't. But I do have a friend from Barcelona named Chico, who uh, does has painted with me before. He was also uh, a spotter for me when I was doing some graffiti at night. Uh, he'd come out and make sure that uh, the coast was clear. So I do keep in contact with him. He's probably the best friend that I met in Barcelona and oh we talked last probably a few weeks ago. You're, you're painting on cardboard, right? Painting on cardboard. Cool. Um, question from SVT Medic. Okay. Do you keep and reuse the stencils? Uh, I keep all the stencils and I reuse them sometimes, usually not on commissions uh, it, without permission. Uh, of things that I paint for myself, like you know, I've painted p portraits of Basquiat and Warhol and um, Picasso. I do use those uh, quite a bit. Um, I use the same stencil five times sometimes, or or more. 
Good question. People want to know what the fate of Jessica Rabbit is. Slash, will it ever be for sale? So yeah. I'll put it up for sale next Wednesday. How about that? Oh, wait. That's six days. Yeah. Wednesday drop. Sweet. Uh, question from Just Jet. The stencils deteriorate. So they don't really deteriorate, um, but because I use that construction mesh, if I paint them a lot of times, the paint kind of sticks to that. And so usually like the crispiest time is the first few times. And then the, uh, they get a little bit kind of flooded with paint and that does affect the stencil, but really it, it's not very much, honestly. Just a little bit. And sometimes that effect can be really cool, I think. Um, question, do you ever paint a snowboarder or skateboarder? Shout out to ND Border. I have not, but I would be down. Do you want to just, uh, oh, no, nah, you're not going to be it. Huh? Um, question from Andy Trujillo. Okay. Shout out to Andy. Shout out Andy. Does anyone at Tops touch up your submitted art before they release the card? No. Not that I know of. <laughs> no, I don't think they touch the art at all. They would, actually, if I asked them. Totally. Yeah, so Tops does not, but they do. They have told me if I ever needed help uh, on like the photoshopping side of things, that they would be down to uh, to help. Um, does Blake have any photos of his street art, and will he share them with us? Ask Mike Robo. I do. Uh, I will post them on Twitter tomorrow. Wow. Look at that. Cool. Very cool. Very cool. How's Hank going? It's looking good. Starting to get colorful. Sweet. Love it. Love it. Love it. Favorite what? Meme? No, 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 baseball movie. Oh, movie? Yeah. 
Well, Sandlot's definitely up there. I mean, that's a classic. SVT Medic, great question. Yeah, I, yeah. I think I'd have to go with Sandlot. Sandlot? Field of Dreams was good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think my top three are Sandlot, not in no particular order, Field of Dreams and Bull Durham. Yeah, I don't know that last one. You don't know Bull Durham? No. Oh, we're gonna, we gotta watch a movie tonight. Okay. All right. Great. I think it's Bull Durham Thursday. Okay. What is your favorite baseball movie? Yeah. That's a great question. Yeah, I love that question. Brush. Yeah, I gotta throw a league, a league of their own, Krista and everybody who else said a league of their own. You're absolutely right. A league of their own is great, and uh, it's definitely one of my favorite baseball movies. So good call. Not a baseball movie, but one of my favorite uh, sports movies. Yeah. Is Ladybugs. What? You ever see that? No. It's pretty funny. Go on. It's about this like. What the fuck is his name? The the coach of the team. Okay. So the son is like a really good uh, soccer player, and the dad the dad coaches a girl soccer team, and ends up like putting a wig on the kid. Like the kid like wears a wig and plays on the lady team, but then uh, it just it's just it's fucking. Called the ladybugs? It's called ladybugs. Yeah, it's it's just a ridiculous sports movie. I just remember watching it as a kid, thinking it was hilarious. This reminds me of the movie She's the Man, where Amanda Bynes, I think. Dress it up as a, a, a guy to play on the soccer team. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not yeah. sure if that's accurate. I might be wrong. It's so. been a long time since I've seen the She's the Man. Yeah. So, um, Sounds like it could be it. There's also the movie Joanna Man, where a man pretends to be a woman to play in the women's basketball league. Nice. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I don't condone that behavior, but no, you know, I, for a movie I, I plot, for yeah, a movie I plot, mean, it's interesting. You know? It was a funny movie when I was like twelve. Right. I don't know if. Uh, I don't know if I'd still find it. Funny. Yeah, I don't know if I'd still find it funny. Um, but uh, yeah. Anyway, we're gonna watch Bull Durham tonight because it's crazy. It's crazy that Blake has never seen Bull Durham. I need to like. I can't tell. Share. I know. Well, um, well, it's because this this is in the way. You're you're yeah. on it. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. I just have Hank Aaron. I know, so I can't see. Yeah. Right. Um. So yeah, we're gonna watch Bull Durham because it's crazy that Blake has never seen Bull Durham. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's awesome. Is Andy still here? Yeah. Yes. Is. Yeah. Right, is there any oh, other also, random? shout out to Moose Null. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. This is this is water, by the way. Yeah. Okay, so I think the rest is gray, right? Let's see, I got that. Got that. I think so. Ooh, question from Michael Cor uh, Corbley. When okay. are your relic cards coming out? Uh. We don't have a release date yet. And I will tell you this, I'm not gonna sell them until I have them in, all of them in hand. I don't wanna deal with pre-orders and disappointments of shipping times, so. They will come when they come, and when they come, I will sell, slash give them away. I do plan to give a bunch of them away as well. Especially to Team Hot Plate here. Absolutely. Question from Derek. Okay. Uh, you put any more thought into adding your touched card display case? Uh, well, I mean, I'm thinking I'm going to do it, so I'm kind of still, I haven't put any more uh, planning into it beyond that, but I do plan to do that for sure.
coming together, guys. Starting to take shape. People are throwing that there. I like that. Um, one. What other awesome Mighty you know, Ducks? Mighty Ducks, yes. I saw someone post Mighty Ducks. Um, what other classics are there? Um, you know, I love Cool Runnings. Cool Drake Runnings is Bob's great. Team. It's a classic. Cool Runnings is a great movie. Um, I feel like there's not really many good football movies. Like, Any Given Sunday is the only mm -hmm. good one I can think of. Varsity Blues. Varsity Blues. Uh, yeah, that is one. Um, basketball. What about basketball? I actually really like Love and Basketball. Yeah, that's, that's a great that's a classic. That's a classic. Yeah. Um, I'm excited. For, I knew you were excited for Space Jam too. Yeah. Um, I feel like just there's by far been the most good baseball movies of any sport. Oh, hockey. Obviously, there's like slap shot. Uh, Miracle is good. What else is there? You know, Bend It Like Beckham? I really enjoyed that one. Yep. Keira Knightley. Yeah. Um, yeah, anyway, what's your favorite sports movie of all time? That's right. Super underrated movie. Great call. Let me see. Was that Rob who put that? Uh, card cutter. Card cutter. Totally agree. Mystery Alaska. Great, great one. What's that one? Is that a hockey one? It's a hockey movie. Yeah, it's um, basically a movie about the Rangers coming to this small town in Alaska, the town of Mystery Alaska, and then playing an exhibition hockey game against the Mystery Alaska mystery team. Mystery Mavericks yeah, or whatever. It's, it's cool. I think that's the premise. It was a long time ago. Re let me know if I'm correct there. Uh, let's see. Oh, Waterboy, Field of Dreams, Yup, MASH, Major League, absolutely. Happy Gilmore with Chad a gazillion times. <laughs> that's your mom who said that, that you watched. Yep. That would check. Yeah. Um, nice. Sorry if I'm if I'm distracting you a little bit. Mm -hmm, you're good. Okay. Um, Sandlot. Yeah. That Philly picker. That absolutely definitely counts as a sports movie. Um, oh, pre the Steve. Yeah. That that's a great one, Nick. I have seen that. That's great. I think there's two pre movies. Um, I'm trying to remember Pretty which what? one I saw. I'm trying to remember the name of the actor. I can see his face. I can't remember his name. Anyway, it'll come to me. Um, Bad News Bears. Yeah. I, that, Mike, I've seen that. I've seen both the, the remake and the original. Original is better. Um, what about a movie 42? where the remake was better? That's Ooh, fun tribute. Ooh, yeah. that's a great question. Yeah, what's one where the remake was better than the original? Um, I'm struggling to come up with one. What's a really good remake? I don't know. I, don't know. I mean, I'm not saying that... Oh, okay, maybe oh, Mad, Mad Max? Does oh. it count as, does it count as a remake? Because I really like the Daniel Craig one. I, I did like the original one too, 
Wait, do you mean James Bond? No, or Mad, Mad Max? Mad Max. Daniel Craig wasn't in Mad Max. Bruh. Bruh. Pretty sure he was. Daniel Craig? I think so. I think that's the guest name. He's also James Bond. He was in Mad Max? I think. I thought so. Maybe I'm getting him confused with another guy. Go look it up. No, it's Tom Hardy. You're definitely getting him confused with him. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. There. Fine. Um. Whatever. The Tom yeah. Hardy one. I yeah. liked a lot. Yeah. That was great. I did I, like the original, but I, I did I, really like that one. Okay. That's a good one. I've never actually seen the original Mad Max movies. I just saw the one with Charlie Theron and uh, Tom Hardy. Um, the Natural. Yeah, that's a great movie. Um, I didn't actually see Trouble with the Curve, Moose Knoll. Um, Pulp Fiction. Not a remake, but that is a great movie. Absolutely. Empire Strikes Back. Yes, Eric, you're absolutely right. Absolutely right. That's a great call. Was Tin that a Cup remake was or was that just like a digitally? Yeah, it's kind of like digitally. It wasn't a remake. It was a, like a, uh, a sequel. Right? Well, it was, they, they like digitally mastered. Like oh, all the did old, they? I don't know. They, they re-released some of the movies, but oh, just like okay. with better graphics, basically. Okay. I think. Yeah. If I'm, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, I'm trying to think. Good remake. I mean, yeah, I can't uh, think of anything. Didn't they remake uh, Point Break? Did they? You know, I was just talking to Andy about did. Point Break. I've never actually seen Point Break. So, I need Keanu? to... Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. I don't necessarily think the remake wouldn't be better than that, but I think that they did redo it. Oh, sequel. Yeah, Eric, you're right. Sequel. Um, does Harry Potter count as a sports movie? Hmm, Jason. Quidditch, maybe. Quidditch? Yeah. You could make that argument. Uh, John Wick 2. People are kind of just going with the sequel. The Replacement. Yeah, I'm going to go back to the comics for a minute. Okay. Like Mike. <laughs> you like Mike? With like, what's that, like, Lil Bow Wow or something? Yeah, that? yo, I'm super impressed that you knew that. No. Sometimes I know random stuff. Off the shelf. Off the shelf paintbrushes. Pretty much everything I use is off the shelf, to be honest. really a remake but like it's it's sort of in the same movie family okay I would argue that Creed is better than all the Rocky movies except for Rocky one really yeah I didn't see Creed really it was really good Michael B. Jordan was fantastic yeah I like Michael Jordan Ooh. also Friday Night Lights the movie was good but the TV show was better and the book was even better really? I'd say Friday Night Lights is one of the greatest sports books of all time really yeah wow. That's coming from a sports book reader, too. Don't you read a lot of sports books? I do. I read a lot of sports books. 
Right on. Okay. Dusty paintbrush. Any splatter on the Henderson? Any splatter on the Henderson? I'm not sure what that means. I'm not sure either. Oh, you know what I forgot to mention? What's that? I'd say one of the greatest sports movies of all time. Uh -huh. The Karate Kid. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's nice. a great one. Nice. Absolutely. Did you watch uh, Cobra Kai? The TV show? Yeah. No, I heard it was fucking good. good. Sorry for swearing. Yeah, you, you told me it was good. Yeah, yeah it was. It was very good. That. Think so? I'm gonna see how the uh, I'm gonna see how the uh, newspapers look. Go from there. Okay. Can we use your uh, uh, computer, or sorry, your phone to take a process thing? Sure. How would you apply the newspapers as a backup? Good question. I'll show you. Great question, Matthew Burke. Oh, Jim Callahan, you're absolutely right. Kingpin. It's a classic. It's a really funny movie. Um, I'd say underrated. Totally agree. Great call. Um, Trying to think of does the Big Lebowski that doesn't count as a sports movie. There's just bowling in the in the movie. I'm trying to think of any other bowling movies. Jim, you might be able to help me out with any other bowling movies. But yeah, Kingpin, that's a great call, Jim. Um, oh, Matthew Burke, great question about the newspapers. Blake, you know how we do it? Yeah. So I will be mixing about half and half this stuff called Yes Paste. Off the shelf of Blick, and this stuff, Golden Clear Leveling Gel, also off the shelf at Blick, a lot more expensive. You could just use this stuff. Um, the Yes Paste is a little stickier, so I like to mix in a little bit of this, uh, and I'll basically mix it up in a bucket and brush it on. Put the newspaper down, and I, I'm also going to do the collage on wood. I'll paint. I'll put that one on birch. You can do it on canvas. You usually, I'll end up with a little more wrinkles. Um, birch, I can usually get it really flat. So you put a really thin, thin layer of the mixture, 
you put down the uh, media, you know, the newspaper or whatever, and then you take a brush with more media and you brush it on top, brush out all the wrinkles, let it dry. So that's, that's how we're going to do it. Okay. Got an update okay. from, from my friend Jim. Okay. Dreamer is a great bowling movie. Also, for love of the game, that's a good baseball movie. I would say an underrated baseball movie. Obviously, like Kevin Costner has done so many baseball movies, it's hard to keep track. The Rookie, uh, for love of the game, Bull Durham, the list goes on. Um, that's a kind of underrated one. Yes, of course, Field of Dreams. Duh. Yeah. That is the baseball movie. People will come, Ray. People will come. Right. Yeah. All right. Let this dry for just a minute. And then we'll lay down the stencils. Close that. You got a photo of it, Matt? Oh, crap. That was what I was supposed to do. No, I didn't. No, just keep putting stuff away. Do uh, you want me to just, like, to, do you want me to go up on a chair? Yeah, I mean, you don't have to. It, it doesn't have to be super far away. It doesn't have to be the whole thing. It's something for the process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, some document shops. Cool beans. All right. All right, we're ready to rock. Yeah. What's the next step? White layer. White layer. Pizza. Yeah. All right, guys, so I'm actually going to paint this again to avoid getting paint on you, the computer. I want to paint it down here on the floor, so I'll move this to kind of so you guys can still see it, hopefully. Kind of go like this. Paint it down here. Paint it back down.
Good call, Krista Caddyshack. Classic. Oh. thing I love about spray paint is that it dries almost instantaneously so like this white is already pretty dry which is amazing yeah that's I like sweet. to keep moving that's awesome Make sure to line up the eyes. <laughs> Tight. He looks awesome. Oh, that's sick. Thanks, bro.
judge just crushed a go-ahead three-run homer in the top of the night. Wow. Put in a fresh blade for this. I want these cuts to be crispy. If you use stencil or if you use exacto knives, it's very important. Cover them with tape before you throw them away. Any more questions? Or are you watching the game? Judge home run for you. I'm sorry, James. My bad. I think my feet is ahead of yours. So, so sorry about that, everyone. Um, yeah, if you have any more questions for Blake, anything for me, let me know. I'll be in the comments. did a like a giveaway Brian did a giveaway with uh, these boxes that we gave them one of one of the boxes had an OMG card pulls uh, sticker in it that said winner one of one on the back and the winner of that got a signed baseball by me and the little girl that won it was very excited 
Yeah. And I didn't actually get to witness this moment, but Brian told me that when the girl was picked up, she was so proud showing her mom the baseball. And so I think that was, that's up there. That's really, really Also scary. when we first got there and those boys walked by and then they're like, which one's the famous artist? That was that, so that was pretty funny. funny. That was really funny. That was pretty funny. Yeah. Uh, that wasn't my favorite moment of the day, but that was definitely the funniest moment. It was, moment ju it was of just day. a fun way to like start. It was start. really funny. Yeah, yeah. Just we're all standing there, and like they look at me like, "Are you the famous artist?" I'm like, "I'm like, yeah." And they're like, "Which one's the famous artist?" And I'm like, I point to Blake. They're like, "Oh, cool." Blake's too long. It was really funny. Um, yeah, great question, Tess. Um, my favorite moment, and I guess this is more of just like a general interaction than a moment but just talking to the kids and helping them or telling you know helping them with art or baseball cards or just telling them hey that's a good card or oh you know what's your favorite team I can help get you some Yankees or Mets or you know Angels or Red Sox whomever um, you know uh, I, I spoke to this one girl Catherine who was super knowledgeable about baseball um, it was just really cool to talk to her she was telling me about how she really wanted to meet Gio Urshela Nice. It's just super cool. Like, how many, you know, little kids really want to meet Gio Urshela? Probably not a ton. More, more probably want to meet Judge. But um, yeah, I mean, it was just awesome to interact with them and to um, help answer any questions they had and just help them have a fun couple of hours doing art, which is um, which it seemed like they had a really good time. So my favorite part was uh, just interacting with the kids. Um, it was really a blast and um, I was saying this earlier it was like the most time I've spent outside in one day in a long time so that was just a nice change of space to get some sunlight um, totally. yeah it was a great day it was a really great day and just shout out to everyone um, at Peterson Peter Stuyvesant Little League um, Seth Corrin who's the, the president was really fantastic uh, gave Blake a, a plaque that I think we uh, posted some photos of um, yeah, it was just an awesome day. So, great question, Tess. Yeah. Do we have a national league team that we cheer for? Are the Giants your national league team? I don't know. Okay. If they are, we cheer for them. I mean, we cheer for them. I don't know if they're national league or not. They are. They are the national. League. Oh, then yeah, yes. Yeah, then yeah. Okay. yes, they okay. are my national team. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. No, you're good. I you're didn't good. know they were national. Not if. Gotcha. I gotcha. Cheer I for them. Or not. Okay. question um, who would I love to paint for uh, Buster Posey Buster Posey good answer great question Brian and yeah James agreed Sidetown is a really nice area oh this is looking fantastic get in there Interviews. 
Finnerty's Pub. Yeah, do you know Finnerty's? Yeah, I live, uh, my apartment's very close to it. Yeah. Um, James asking your Because they're like a San Francisco, they're yeah. like a San Francisco bar. Yeah, yeah, I, watch yeah, some, yeah. I watch some uh, 49ers games there. And I think some Warriors games, if I remember correctly. <laughs> it's at one percent now. I'm plugged in. Uh, reconnection successful. Surprise! <laughs> We're back. Are we back? I mean, wow. It, yeah, it, that's cool. My computer completely just died, and I plugged it in, and we get we made it back. So, so I think this is pretty dope. So this will go on the collage. Gonna be awesome. Here, I'll, I'll do this. Ooh, that was a quick one. Holy cow. Bam. Wow. Ooh, ooh. Well, I was about <laughs> right before. I just swing yeah, it. Yeah, I, I like it. I like it. I, I don't want to interrupt. <laughs> Keep going. Yeah. Um, so right before Blake's computer randomly shut down, I was just going to say thank you, everyone, just for hanging out for, a, you know, for an hour and a half, nearly. Um, we appreciate it, you know? That's all, just thank you. We have some more water. Here's our Brita. All right, guys. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. We got it done. Next step, we'll be waiting for eBay for the uh, backgrounds to show up. Uh, newspapers, once they do, we'll keep it going. Uh, let's see, next thing. So I'm gonna be painting, doing a little bit of painting live on my uh, Hobby Palooza stream. Oh, nice. I'm gonna do. When is your Hobby Palooza stream? Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern. Sunday at 2. And Eric, I think I'm gonna do Doc Gooden. Oh, what? Because I already have the stencil cut. Eric. And I would prep the background first, so I'm thinking it's gonna be Doc. Ooh, that's exciting. Yeah. And I'm gonna get it all done, so like the only thing I'm doing live on the stream is the black layer, which you guys saw at the end. So it'll be very fast, um, but you're gonna get to see like the kind of reveal. It should be cool. Yep. Thanks. Yep. Anyways, um, thank you guys. Hammer and Hank. Hammer and Hank. That's right. Also, um, tomorrow, let's uh, promote this because we've got an awesome guest tomorrow. Ken Carl yep. is on the stream tomorrow. That's right. So come hang out. He's super talented. Yeah. Um, if you haven't seen his work, 
We're going to be posting links tomorrow throughout the day before the stream. Um, he draws paints on cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah, like yeah. Uh, like sketch cards, sketch but cards. that doesn't do it justice. No, it's it like doesn't. Tiny it doesn't. pieces of art, original that he Brilliant. paints the size directly onto a baseball card. Excuse me. Onto a blank card. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. It's 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 fantastic. Yep. I've I put in an order for a card myself. After Blake showed me his work, I was like, wow, this guy's amazing. I need to buy a card from yeah. him because his work is awesome. Totally. Um, so, yeah, we're going to talk. Blake's going to talk to him tomorrow. That's going to be a lot of fun. Um, 7 p.m. tomorrow is Eric. Eric. Those back pages. Uh, those back pages. Hobby Palooza. Check that out tomorrow. Yep. And then join us for Ken Carl at 1023. That's right. All right. Cool. Thanks, guys. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Stay, Stay awesome. awesome.